Today, today, guys, I am back with more theory videos. So, well, maybe because we did found out who was the one behind this, but I do have a couple um things I have to say in my mind. So that being said, let's begin, shall we, guys? Okay, guys, so let's get to straight to the point. So we already knew it was Rowan behind this. And if you guys saw or didn't saw, I did a confirmed video a while back. In that video, I confirmed Ruin was acting all along. But something did came up and it gave my theory like a half true because Ruin did say something how he was a grand actor and this clip kind of surprised me and I was in shock everyone is in shock knowing it was all a lie so that being said here's a small clip were you ever even infected <sighs> that is the question isn't it was I ever infected I was infected in a way of which I was a carrier of the virus, not so much as an afflicted person of the virus. So from day one, you were what lying. Do you, what do you mean? I mean, yes, I was lying from day one. You see, Moon, I had to get access to technology of portal travel somehow, but you were there. And if I went on belligerently talking about how to kill the crater and how to destroy dimensions, would you have let me? Of course not. Why would you? I mean, it's the smartest thing, isn't it? Why trust somebody who's going to do anything? So I had to do something and get you out of the picture. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was trying to kill you two at first, but... With you gone or away, it didn't matter to me where you went. I started my plans, and then you came back, thanks to your help. And I had to change things up. My plan slowed until you had allowed me access to a certain portal. And a world full of arcade machines, it's built through a myriad of things. It was enough for me to continue my project. And Eclipse? What about him? Why well, make him again? A, a way to gain your trust? Our trust? I mean, yes. I helped you get him, capture him, mold him. You thought to gain our trust, you'd again bring back who you acknowledge is our worst enemy. I never said I was the good person in this story. <sighs> what exactly is this thing you're doing gonna do? How many dimensions are you gonna kill? How many billions are you going to kill? I'm going to save trillions of lives. How many are going to die? <sighs> this is over 5,000. You're going to kill? How many people? Yes, people are going to die. Many dimensions will fall. People will shatter. However, what? I'd like to apologize. What? <laughs> Now, there are many dimensions in which the creator was alive and expired, or is still alive. Of course, I targeted the ones that are still alive and or will continue to be. I need to make sure there's not another council. I have to. How were you going to do that? I erased the creator from the souls. From all of it. If I do that, every dimension that he's in is going to collapse completely, be destroyed and turn to dust. Then why are you apologizing to us? It wasn't to you. It was to him. Okay, guys. Now, after seeing that clip of Veil, vale, I'm very angry at myself. But I cannot blame myself either because I didn't know this at all. So that means Ruin was not even affected by the virus. Meaning he was acting all along in the beginning. He only carried the virus. Meaning he was not affected at all. His main plan was trying to kill all creators. And I know it's a good thing, but it's also an awful idea. And let me say this, I know probably you guys gonna hate me for this, but it kind of remind me of the Marvel movie. 
So, yeah. So, please guys, don't yell at me in the comments. But after everything, he completed his mission. He killed all carriers. So, his mission was complete. Well, except for one, but we don't talk about him. But for now, Ruin is just staying in the prison cell until... So, Moon could get information or a way to bring back Solar. That being said, I'm gonna let my friend talk in this part. That being said, take it away, my friend. Why did my mind immediately go? Hi guys, today we're going over my kill list. Number one is the creator to Long Didn't. Evil Sun mentioned Dark Matter Generator can. Regenerate a small part dimension moon, has the blueprint and has made said device. Conclusion just solar could be theoretically. Brought back using one holy shoot I don't. I don't even realize Eclipse has the same personality as Solar cause it was taken from. Him will that make Eclipse disappear like Solar did I don't know we'll have to keep an eye on Jack too if it is but the possibility of using Eclipse to get Solar back like the reverse of what Ruin did for Eclipse would be cool. Mirror image in the story. Okay, so let me say this. I will not be talking so much. I will only give my details and a little bit of information because there is so many information i rather not talk about. So we already know Solar is gone. Moon is trying to find information from Ruin. And let me say this. Lunar and Earth didn't handle that well with this news about Solar being gone. But there is some people who's willing to help Sun and Moon. And that will be Monty, Puppet, Frank. And maybe, maybe if he wants to, that will be Eclipse. I know Eclipse has a counter, Puppet, and Frank. Both of them have forced Eclipse to help out or something bad will happen to him. So maybe Eclipse will luckily help or not. But there is something I am questioning about because there is one video I wonder why he went to Earth and talked to her. That being said, here's a clip of this video. How is he different? Solar was the only one I feel like I could have talked about my... Real feelings too. Sun's really good. I, I talk to him about my feelings sometimes, but I don't want to overwhelm him. Moon, he's more logical about things. And Lunar, he has his own issues to deal with. But Solar would put away everything to talk to me. And we spent so much time together. But I really need him. And I'm really sad for you that you've never had anybody like that. Don't be sad for me. I don't need your sympathy. For the looks of it, you need it more than I do anyways. I know sympathy isn't your style, though. Yeah, you're right. What would you do to ruin if you had the chance? I don't know. Well, I do know. I'm not violent. I wouldn't hurt him. I would just want to know if he regrets it. The thing is, I know he probably doesn't. He probably doesn't care that he hurt anybody. I couldn't even look at him right now, I feel. They disgust me so much. You wouldn't want to try to kill them. No. I don't need, I don't need to do that. He's a reason Solar is dead. What would killing him do? Make it feel a bit better. No, it would just make me feel like I solved nothing and I just hurt somebody for no reason. Look, I'm not like anybody. Like you. Or... I don't know. Whoever else wants to hurt somebody else for revenge. I don't think Solar would want me to do that. I think he'd want me to start knitting again. So I'll just knit again. Even if it really hurts right now. To have nobody to talk to when I do it. Because I could do it with Moon or Sun. Or Lunar. Or Monty. Heck, if you wanted to, I could. But it wouldn't be the same. I'm not a fan of knitting. It wouldn't be the same. Why do you care so much? I was just asking. Okay. I wasn't trying to attack you or anything. <laughs> That's what they all say. I really wasn't. I won't lie, it's quite suspicious, but I have a hunch maybe Eclipse is slowly redeeming himself. But I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong about this. But that being said, I'm gonna let my friend take over. Take away, my friend. 
Moon thinks of Solar as a brother he cares so much encrypted information. Ruin sees himself as an anti-hero. Indeed, Moon needs to grieve but is. Avoiding doing that by throwing Solar back unhealthy grieving. I swear if this is the reason he actually decided to actively try to talk to his old self that would be rather drastic he's starting to isolate himself again throw himself into his work again neglecting his family again the way Monty comforted them. Honestly if anything it would be a temporary truce as a means to an end but the time eclipse is done helping them and he gets to kill ruin he's out of there also puppet has been warned by golden not to interfere how do you expect goldie to react to puppet interference for the sake of solar indeed if he's alive then the generator works and they can use it to revive solar <laughs> Okay guys, so let's talk about our last theory, shall we? So let's talk about Frank, or you guys may know him by the other name, Forkface. So Forkface was originally supposed to be a replacement of Moon, but that didn't happen, and he has been sent to different dimension, but somehow he always come back. But also, the thing is, even though he's creepy, the worst part is he doesn't even talk. He only make like heavy breathing noise. That being said, here's a clip of it. <laughs> Okay, 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 sorry, sorry. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest moment, but slowly over time, he slowly began to grow on people like Monty, Foxy, Puppet, even Earth, and Lunar. Well, maybe not Lunar. Lunar doesn't like him, but still it counts. So, the thing is, Frank is very mysterious, and we slowly began to notice him. He began acting very strangely, and slowly he began to talk. So, I'm going to show you two clips, because apparently Frank did talk a while back with a normal voice but now we have his ritual voice and it's not too pleasant that being said here's a clip watching i am sorry i will wait in the theater room wonderful ice cream you're asking if you if you if you ice cream <laughs> I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Yeah, but we know one thing, Frank is not an animatronic. Me and my friend, we thought maybe somehow he may be a star people. But we got that veil of going free and Puppet were talking and there's a chance Frank may be a godlike creature and I don't want that to be the case. But for now, we have to wait and see what else Frank will do. For now, he's still a mystery character. Hi guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this theory video I have been working on. And also, like always, I do give half of the credit to my good friend Star of her theories and her opinions. And including her wonderful artwork. Like always, I will link down below to her Twitter so you guys can see the original artwork. And like always guys, please guys like, comment down below, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for me to continue making more Sun and Moon Theory video. That being said, this is MC, sign out. Bye guys!